Hello. If you've ever dealt with a gas grill or any kind of cooking implement, you've probably seen the term British thermal unit. What is a British thermal unit? Yeah, also sometimes referred to as a BTU. So what is a BTU? So a BTU is essentially the amount of energy required to heat one pound of water one degree Fahrenheit. It's a lot like a calorie. If you think about um, a big calorie, um, a dietary calorie, what we, in America we call it dietary calorie, other places in the world they call it a kilocalorie, is the amount of energy required to heat one kilogram, one degree Celsius. This is like the old British Imperial version of that. It's the amount of energy to heat one pound of water, one degree Fahrenheit. So if we want changes in the calories, it's actually a fairly simple procedure. You're just changing pounds into kilograms and degrees Fahrenheit into degrees Celsius. So there's 2.2 pounds in a kilogram. So divide by 2.2, and it's 2.205, blah, 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 blah. And since there is 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit and a degree Celsius, divide by 1.8. By the way, if you're doing this on a calculator, either do it in two steps, divide by this, press equals, then divide by that, press equals, or multiply these two together and then divide it by the product of the two. A lot of people screw that up, okay? So just watch with that. Um, so anyway, you divide by 2.2, you divide by 1.8, and you get that one BTU is roughly equal to 0 0.25 kilocalories, or if you're in America, big cows, capital, it's, it's an American thing, uh, dietary calories if you want. Um, so yeah, so basically the dietary cal calories, if you look at a chocolate bar, it's got 200 di you know, dietary calories or 200 kilocalories, that's approximately 800 BTUs if they sold chocolate in BTUs, now, which I don't understand why they wouldn't, but um, so now you know. Now by the way, just in case you're wondering, you know, you're going to do this, you're going to translate, um, take that calories, multiply it by 4,286 or 4,186 to get the number of joules. So you'll find that one BTU is roughly equal to 1,055 joules. Roughly equal to the amount of energy it would require me to climb onto this desk. So that's what a, a BTU is. Now, you, know, you typically look at a gas stove that does so many BTUs a second. Think about your gas bill. My gas bill isn't in BTUs. It's in therms. So what is a therm? Um, that's very, very simple. Therms are very, very simple. So one therm, no. I didn't want to do this in the same color, but here we go. One therm is equal to 100,000 BTU. So uh, basically, you just shift the um, decimal point over. Shift over five places. One, two. So you got 20, you know, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And so uh, one therm is equal to 25,000 kilocalories. Basically, the amount of energy you would eat in about 10 days. And we can do the same thing over here. 1055, move it over, 5 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we find that, boy, is that messy. Um, 100,000 joules, 105,000 joules is roughly how many joules in a BTU. So I hope that's helpful. But we don't use BTUs much anymore. One, they're not metric. Two, they're basically just for heat. Three, they're really, really small. I mean, I use approximately three million joules a month. So there's all these reasons we don't use BTUs, but I just thought I'd let you know how it works. So I hope you've enjoyed this and goodbye.